Bro, I am ready, Freddy. And you can barely see in this corner. But guys, I got myself a new fan. I'm ready for the summer. The reason why I haven't touched Bizarre Bub's videos yet, because I want to marathon them. But it gets hot in my office. As in hot, hot. The only thing I don't like about the new fan is that it does not tell me the temperature. My old fan used to tell me how hot my office was. But with this one, at least it keeps me cool and it does its work. I think right now my office is maybe 82, 80 degrees in my office at the moment. It's a little bit sticky in this office, but not as bad as it used to. I am ready to start marathoning a whole bunch of reactions throughout the day, throughout the night. And I'm also might start something soon. Join the Discord. Give me reactions. Because I might pick a day where it'll be my permanent streaming day. I might stream for like maybe five, six hours. And I'll interchange. Maybe an hour or two of it could be gaming stuff. Maybe the next hour or two could be me doing cigar content stuff. Like me reviewing a cigar live in front of you. Maybe the last hour or two can be me going through my reaction playlists and knocking out maybe two to three reactions all at once. I'm trying to find something where I can stimulate growth on this channel. And I think that might be the way to do it. Instead of me just recording how I'm doing it right now, I can just go live and just the reactions. Let me know what you guys think about the idea. But today we have a video from the amazing Nukes Top 5, which for the last couple of videos have not been a top five at all. It has been consistently top tens, which I don't mind. So for Nukes Top 10, we have 10 scary videos for you. Let's see if these scary videos are for me, for you, or for no one. TikTok user Leo Lords 15 is excited about getting a fresh start as she and her young daughter move into a new home. But okay. soon after they move in, her daughter begins to behave very strangely. The young girl claims to have made a new friend a friend that lives inside their new house. In the walls now the mom is or with them? pretty freaked out. So she prepares a security camera to keep an eye on her young daughter. And one day, it captures something absolutely terrifying. Get rid of the daughter. Oh. Because she was really funny. She was doing Do you want to play? Do you want to? Want to what? Okay, okay Chucky. There's just something sitting in front of you, sitting in front of her, just staring at her. I it's a growl. That's a negative, sir, and that is a huge negative. can be seen having a conversation with someone that we can't see. Then two footsteps can be heard before the closet door slowly opens on its own. And you hear that? The... As it grudge. opens, three more footsteps can be heard, almost as if something is walking out of the closet. Yeah. It's either vibration of footsteps or uh the girl seems very freaked out as she slowly gets to her feet and sneaks toward the door to make her escape out of the room. 
So it seems that whatever just came out of that closet, nope. she doesn't want to be anywhere near it. Nope. Now what makes this footage even creepier is that this family completely disappeared off of TikTok in 2022. So whatever happened to TikTok user Leo Lord 15 and her daughter remains a mystery. Dude, what happened? The next day, the motherfucker was dead. That's what happened. Fuck that. If I'm in the room and I have a daughter or a son or even my wife or whoever the fuck I'm with, if I see a footage on ring camera, uh, circle camera, whatever cameras out there that does security stuff, fucking door camera, outlet camera, uh, bracelet camera, I don't care what camera. If I see some shit and I hear the fucking grudge up. I'm out. I'm out. I'm throwing a hand grenade inside the house. I'm throwing a flash grenade in the walls. And then I'm setting a fucking claymore in the attic and basement. And I'm out. We're moving out. I'm packing everything. Put fucking tripwire, claymores, flash grenades, hand grenades, Molotov cocktails. Just constant. Just constant berades. Berry? Berades? No. Barrage, barrage, whatever the hell, what, like like Dragon Ball key blast, like when they go like this and all the key blasts come out and you know things blow up. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. And if I see my kid talking to spirits, they're gonna end up a spirit. They they on their own. They on their own. That's it. The night visitor, Mrs. Tennyson from Tulsa, Oklahoma, is an overnight caregiver for the elderly. She says that one of her clients has been having full conversations with someone in her sleep. After hearing some strange noises coming from the elderly woman's room, the concerned caregiver keeps a close eye on the bedroom security camera as the woman sleeps. It's late at night and Mrs. Tennyson is all alone when she spots something downright creepy. Uh-oh. Every night I'm at work, I be thinking I'm tripping. Let me trip in. But you gotta watch in. this video, y'all. You see oh. that move under the bed? And it goes to the bed. You saw the like I know for a blanket. fact it's close to my client's house. I be seeing, you see it keep moving under, like right there under the bed? It's moving back and forth. You see it? A face. It's ghost in my client's house. Look under her bed. And it come out and it go back. Now she in bed sleep, she ain't moved an ounce. It's like a face. Do you see how it keep out, coming out? Coming in. Going back Poke in. it out, coming in. Poke it out, coming this in. is no joke. Something can be seen moving around on the floor beside the bed, even though the elderly woman has no dogs or cats. After the videos posted to TikTok, viewers wonder whether the woman was visited by a deceased pet or loved one. Caregiver okay. Mrs. Tennyson confirmed that the woman's husband has passed away. So could this be a visit from the woman's deceased husband or some other loved one or pet? Let me know what you think. That seems more like a pet. Just constantly going under the bed, out the bed, 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 and so on and so on and so on. But that's a pet. Hiding in plain sight. Now, unfortunately, this next creepy video was shared to the internet without a source. The video shows a guy doing a paranormal investigation of allegedly cursed objects in a haunted house. Using right. a thermal imaging camera, he looks around the room to check for any fluctuations in temperature. Instead, he sees something that makes his blood run Boyo. cold. Oh, boil! Boil is when you get pissed off. I'm stupid. I'm egging it. Oh, that's a whole. Oh, that's what a hell? hell. What is that? 
It's a face. What the f The thermal imaging camera shows a childlike face peeking out from the cupboard in front of him. But when he looks up from the camera, there's no one there. Not only that, but there's absolutely no room for anyone to be hiding behind those cupboards. So is this evidence of a paranormal presence caught on thermal camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? If I just saw a candle, I just throw the candle behind there. And whatever happens, insurance take care of. That's where you get home insurance. Just in case a fire happens, because a misplaced candle, uh, you get reimbursed and your house fixed. Or if the damage is too bad, you could actually move out and get yourself another home because they'll probably give you the credit for whatever. Just, just, just saying, just saying, call me Goku because I'm super saying that if that happens, uh, uh, you could probably get a check to get yourself a new home if the house is too totaled to fix. Out of hand. This next creepy video was sent in by Nukes Top 5 viewer Craig Davis from Morocco? Sydney, Australia. Craig says that he was alone late one night babysitting Morocco. his one-year-old son. Oh, he God. checks his son's baby monitor and sees something truly chilling. What's up with these kid stuff? Did you see it? On the right side near the bottom of the frame, a small childlike hand can be seen entering the one-year-old's crib and then immediately pulling back away. Craig says that he and his wife only have one child, their son, but they believe that the spirit of a young girl haunts their home. Craig says that they have had many strange paranormal experiences in their house over the last 10 years. Nah. Touch my kid. Keep him. <laughs> I don't mess with no spirit shit. You touch my kid, you keep him. Simple as that. Uh, and you know hauntings if I give you what you want. The Melbourne zombie. Amber Carter from Melbourne, Australia and her friend Tiana are parked at McDonald's and enjoying their food when suddenly something happens. They just that have Burger the rifle. scares the sh out of them. Hi. Oh my God, Tiana, go. Go, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. That's a crackhead. Tiana. Okay, honey. I get this all the time. I used to live in a hood. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. Amber says that the creepy woman came up to her window from behind the car and attempted to open the passenger door several times. Amber says that she was so startled by the woman's appearance that at first glance she thought she was a zombie. Now, the mysterious woman certainly isn't a zombie. But after Amber shared her experience online, locals in the Melbourne area have come out and said that they too have seen this woman and that she's known to try to open doors to cars and even apartments and houses. So sometimes it's good to remember to keep your doors locked at all times. And it's also important to know about your second amendment. Like always, don't fuckle with the chuckle. Or she just might get ya. Oh my god, Tiana, go. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tiana. I grew up in the hood. I grew up, you know, where a lot of bus stops are at and crackheads and drugs and whatever. So I grew up in basically low poverty areas. I know about shit like this because I was always surrounded by them. I'd had my mom get followed home by drug addicts. I've been followed home from, I've been followed home by drug addicts. I've been looked at very suspiciously on the bus because druggies may have seen like an Armani shirt and they put two or two together. Armani means you got money. Even though I didn't have money, I just lived with my mom rent free and basically save every cent to get shit I wanted. Not what I needed, but I wanted. So I took advantage of living with mommy and got what I want. 
No, I can't do that because this is my own apartment. I'm sad and depressed because bills. Uh, I miss living with mommy. The point is, I've been there. I've been in cars. I've been through drive throughs where you're just waiting for your food and the crackies. Basically, they are like zombies. But stand essentially very close to the drive through window where you, they handed the food and for you to hand money. Because depending on what you hand them, if they see you hand over cash, they become dry beggars. Please let me eat. I want I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. The reality is for drugs. But I've been to that. These things are more scarier than ghosts. Because crackheads are you can't guess what the fuck they're, they're gonna do next they are a endless surprise of just surprisery just might get ya oh my god tiago <laughs> go oh my god oh my god oh my god tiana we need scary videos so if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com out of step out of and around 10 30 at night in the philippines agent Nomoto's dog out becomes step, disturbed and starts barking and howling at something outside agent and his family are worried that they might have a potential intruder lurking just outside their house so Second they quickly check their security camera footage Second what they moment. see in their backyard shocks them to their core Second Second moment. Moment. Ipapakita ko lang sa inyo guys kung oh, ano yung nakuha ng CCTV namin noong 2019 pa. Well, ayan, October 14, 2019. So, ngayon ko lang siya binidyoan or pinakita sa inyo kasi uh, hinanap ko talaga tong video na to. Yung record ng CCTV namin noon sa bahay ng parents ko. So, ayan, ipapakita ko sa inyo guys kung ano yung nakuha ng CCTV namin. Tingnan nyo guys sa... Uh, 102917 okay tingnan niyo dito may lalabas dito na parang usok tapos mabilis siyang papunta dito okay wait natin mag 17 okay wait lang natin ha why is it like spanglish a spanglish but like in seconds ayun what the hell back natin uh, back natin i'm going to go back to see what country it is Seven, when the video is done tingnan dito Ayun. That's Ayun. fast. Ulitin natin. 17. Ayun, sobrang bilis niya. Tapos yung Yeah, that's like a power walk. Uh, nagpakita siya. I go mean business. Uh, He was like work. 30. Na tingnan niyo dito mag 20 diyan. Tapos sa time na to, parang lumalakad na lang siya. Now Tingnan slow. Uso. Tapos nawala siya dito balik natin ayan diba? Mm. sa mga hindi pa nin, sa mga hindi pa naniniwala na may mga espiritu talaga na gumagala sa bahay natin sa labas man o loob ng bahay so ito na, nakita ko na interesting the footage shows a translucent white shape that seems to walk back and forth through their backyard randomly appearing and disappearing right in front of the camera. But when the family goes outside to check, there's no one there. They don't see or hear anyone nearby. Only their family dog seems to be able to detect this strange presence. Aja believes that they accidentally captured proof of a ghostly presence haunting the family. But what do you think this is? Let me know. I guess. So I'm back. Uh, it's the Philippines. I went back. It's the Philippines. Philippines are known for a lot of the spiritual videos. Majority of the ghost videos you get from the Asia continent tends to be either from the Philippines or from Japan. That just seems to be the case. There are places like China. I, I don't know. SCTV. Maybe edited. Maybe, you know, it's. It's a recording of the recording. It's a recording of the recording. It's the phone recording the camera instead of just uploading the raw footage. They're doing like the camera of the camera. 
when it comes to recording a screen quality is horrendous that's just my explanation to be basically a skeptic and that's what i am a skeptic so i'm always gonna try to disprove videos and try to see if i can figure out how they did stuff because if you record your computer screen the quality is gonna look horrendous so with editing a screen on a screen it's easier to look more legit than just showing the raw footage along for the ride at a fair in Johor Bahru, Malaysia, proud mother Rina Rosny or is Malaysia. her son Moise while he's enjoying an amusement ride. But as little Moise goes round and round, Rina notices something very disturbing. Another boy seemingly about the same age as Rena's son Moise can be seen seated right next to him. The face mask. As the ride comes back around, the other boy seems to have just disappeared. On TikTok, Rena says that she doesn't know who the other boy was. She says that when the ride stopped and her son got off, the other boy was nowhere to be found. So she asks her son, who was that boy riding with you? But her son was confused and had no idea what she was even talking about. So, who is this? Let me know what you think. Hmm. Hmm. Fairy or fairy tale? Now, this next video was suggested thousands of times. And once again, I'm not remotely suggesting that this video is real. However, the video has gone viral with millions of viewers loving its whimsical nature. Take a look. This the spot. This the spot. Nah, come back out. Look. Why they be peeking like that? Peeking. All right. So look. Let me know. This video was allegedly captured on a live stream while live. viewers watched in real time as a man captured what appears to be a tiny fairy-like creature peeking out from a tree hollow. Now, whether this footage is real or just some very good effects, I leave that entirely up to you to decide. It looks However, CGI. However, even though the legitimacy of the video is very questionable, there are many people who just don't care. These viewers all say that they just enjoy the fantasy of watching a cute video of a man finding a fairy in a tree. That's where my cookies come from. So Keebler was not lying. Whoever's doing this, because I didn't see no wings. So that's uh, Keebler, Elf, making us cookies. I don't know, for the fact that it's alive, but uh, I don't know. I mean, there's times where people are alive and it's just a recording. I've seen so many. I don't know how. I understand Gen Z and Gen Alpha are stupid, but I don't think that I never expected them to be that stupid for them to fall for an obvious recording. Like, for example, it will be a pretty girl, but the color scheme is grayscaled, meaning it looks like it's a recording and it repeats. At one point, you will actually physically see the video go back to the beginning of how long that live stream was. And you can honestly see that it's fake. It's not a real woman. It's not a real person. This is a person with a laptop that is putting their phone in a position where it looks slightly not even slightly but it looks like it's quote-unquote live and you still see a whole bunch of dumbasses donate roses donate this donate that comment oh you're beautiful i want to be with you it's like bro with just an ounce of just a brain cell like not even a full developed brain cell like anybody with a sickness to look at that and immediately click that oh shit this is fake but they don't because the audio is muffled so the audio sound like it's coming from a speaker but still nothing clicks with a live stream it happens especially on tiktok but people i guess are either too stupid or too gullible just for them to have what is now called uncommon sense because it's no longer common my generation, millennials, is the last generation that has common sense and is now a rarity between the next generations and the generation afterwards. 
So unfortunately, millennials and prior have the uncommon sense. And the generations afterwards, it's just no longer common to have any sense. I guess edits like that is kind of cool. It's almost like that one person who used to do a whole bunch of like cool vines with special effects, Zach something. He started doing it now on TikTok too. But it's, I think it's fun and I think it's cool that there's people who can insinuate very amazing CGI and special effects onto TikToks or shorts or back in the vine. And now they're trying to do stuff with lives, which again, I think it shows your level of talent. Spirits. TikTok user VKT recently started a new job at a liquor store in Kentucky. He's at work one evening when Here he starts to hear random Hell yeah. creepy sounds that he simply can't explain. He grabs his phone and starts to record. So I'm here at work and I'm 100% sure I hear whisper. my voice right now. Hello. Do you hear that? Hello. Do you hear that? Behind you. I'm freaking out right and now. I'm the only one in the store. Hey. It sounded like it was right behind me. Yo, I'm, I hear it. I, I, please tell me you guys hear this. Over here. Brother. Oh. Did you hear it? A soft, unexplained voice can be heard several times, seemingly whispering to VKT. Yeah, directions. And, do you hear that? What is that? Please tell me you guys hear this. Now, I reached out to TikTok user VKT, and he says that he didn't used to believe in the paranormal at all, and was actually a skeptic. That is, until he started working at this liquor store. It sounded like it was right behind me. Since he has worked at the store, he says that doors often open by themselves and bottles fall on the floor randomly with no explanation. BKT says he asked his co-workers about the strange incidents and they all told him flat out, well, uh, this store is haunted. Hmm. But there's more. Okay. Because as VKT continues to work at the store, things just get creepier and creepier. Okay, guys, so I'm hearing like noises coming from this back room. Oh my goodness, bro, it's, it's, it's happening again. All right, I'm gonna go and, and, and look. Ooh, I heard a deep breath. As you can see, nobody's back here. Nobody's behind the door. Nobody just came out behind me. Like, I'm serious. Someone or something can be heard banging on the door to the back storage room from the inside, while an unknown voice whispers some very disturbing things. All right, I'm gonna go and, and look. And things just continue to get worse. Oh, I thought it was just that. One day, VKT is completely alone I didn't hear to die. When this happens. Yeah. Come on, man. Oh, I'm not complaining. Oh my god, what the f is it? Ooh. Mm, there's nobody in the store, dude. It's freaking me out, bro. It's freaking me out, bro. Come on, where you at? Like, come on. Bro, you gonna sit here and show yourself, show yourself in front of me. The door of a stand-up cooler in the back of the store opens by itself. But when VKT looks through the glass of the cooler, a dark figure can be seen quickly moving out of sight in the back room. Mm. VKT quickly runs around and into the back storage room but he finds nothing and no one. The room is empty. Come on, where you at? Like, come on. So what do you think is going on at this liquor store in Kentucky? Let me know. Ah, chicken. Uh, my explanation, it's jump cuts. It's jump cuts. At times where he flicks the phone is when he probably pauses the recording and then starts it and the person back walks away or in the beginning when the person was talking the like, hello hey hello the whispering shit he wasn't turning around in full circles it was just over shoulder never the other shoulder it's i mean that's the skeptical part of my brain that thinks that 
try to generate more customers. Hey, I have a haunted liquor store. Come get drunk. Come get your shit from here. We're haunted. Maybe you might get an experience if you come to this liquor store. Could be a thing. It comes out in the wash. Popular Saudi Arabian explorer Jassim is back on another exploration to find and capture evidence of the paranormal. This time, Jassim investigates a long abandoned apartment complex. Eerily enough, he finds evidence that a child once lived here. Isn't the child's, um, what do you call it? A so genie? Or Jin, Jin, there you go. Hey. Where are you? For unknown reasons, old black and white photos of a young girl have been taped to the wall in one of the many abandoned rooms. I would just now say they seem don't. completely out of place in the old decrepit building. Do we don't. Nearby, Jasim finds a creepy drawing of the popular children's cartoon Scooby Doo. Hey, creepy. And this is when things start to get really weird. All right, Nuke, you're just reaching. Jasim starts to hear strange, unexplained sounds. Small outfit. Your head. Hello? Anyone here? Uh, yeah. The explorer hears the sounds of hmm. someone or something moving around inside the building. That's seemingly a negative. close by. Negative. Jasim eventually finds a small courtyard, and what happens next is absolutely terrifying. Oh, As Jasim walks by old towels hung on a clothesline, he sees the terrifying pale face of a child with pitch black eyes peeking back at him. Terrified, Jasim jumps back, but whoever or whatever it was has disappeared. So could this be the ghost of a child? Perhaps even the little girl from the photos he found earlier. Could this be the sinister entity of a djinn oh. appearing as a child? Or is this just really good effects and a very elaborate hoax? I leave it up to you to decide. Fuck you, Nuke. God, actually, that got me. <laughs> that got me. Oh, damn. Damn, bro. It's always in, like, in the Middle East area that where you see like a physical apparition. The videos are good. They're really, really good. Like they're really scary. So I think that's supposed to be a gin. That's what's popular in the Middle Eastern area. Uh, I think in Japan, it's like Juan's. America's like poltergeist activity. Every region has their own, I guess, spiritual ghost phenomena. So I think Europe has a little bit more like mythical creatures, like werewolf slash vampire slash uh something type of apparition, like like legends. And you have the mountainous regions of America that has the skinwalkers. So everything has their own thing. That being said, I don't like this that this actually was a good video and it was actually for me i yeah this was good i will be starting bizarre bubs videos very soon and marathon them but again from the beginning of the video i mentioned about me doing live streams part of it being cigar reviews and part of it being you no know, gaming stuff let me know what you guys think about the idea and let me know what i should do and how i should do it do i should do one week gaming one week reactions one week cigars or do i just do all three but just in different orders maybe one week i'll start with gaming then move on to cigars and then move on to reactions and the following week i'll start with reactions 
then cigars, and then with gaming or the following one is cigars, gaming, reactions. You know, you have those three. It could be in different orders every single week to mix things up a little bit. Let me know in the comment section below. That could be the potential future of the channel where everything recorded live. And for those who are attend the live, see this stuff before I edit it and have it uploaded. But as always, I love your faces and I'm out. Peace.